that yes, the car gives us great freedom and great amenity, but actually it's not right in the city that everyone should be in a car because it just doesn't work and it starts locking up our cities. And like I say, you can't really build your way out of congestion, particularly if your streets are narrow and you don't want to lock down a load of buildings. So, uh, and I think, you know, examples of places like Paris and the Netherlands and Denmark and cities across actually Britain are all great examples where you see massive change. In Seville, they built something like 300 kilometres of um, cycle lanes in, in a couple of years. Something we don't do here in, in Britain because we always want to consult and, and, and take it at a more gentle pace.